Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop game every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please be sure to click on that subscribe or leave comments about what your thoughts are on this video. Now, today I'm very excited to be checking out the 74th, yeah, that is not good, uh, most popular game on all of tabletop games. That is Artifacts, a gigantic modular board game. Build the most... Build the best artifact and damage your opponents with a mix of Euro game style and Ameritrash. Now, I do not like the main image of this. I don't think it's captivating at all. I can barely see it. It looks just so insanely brown and dull. And I don't really know anything about the game. Like you say, Euro and Ameritrash. And it's like, why don't you actually tell me what mechanisms from Euro, because Euro games, that's a huge category. Is this pick up and deliver? Is this work a placement? I mean, what mechanisms are they? But I will give them two compliments. First and foremost, I like the fact that they have one to four players, 45 to 240 minutes, and ages 14 plus right here. And the fact that they have spotlighted that this is a gigantic modular board game. But I think it would have been better to spotlight it by actually showing me how large this board game actually is. Uh, as opposed to just some random person holding it in their hand. And actually, if you really look at this image, like, it doesn't look like it's that big of a game. Well, I guess it does. It takes up his whole chest. I don't know. I just think there's better ways to spotlight this game uh, that make people want to click on it. So let's click on it. 35,000 euros raised already. So it's got some excitement. Forty. Uh, so it's got a $93,000 United States uh, dollars <laughs> goal. And wow, that is really high. That is just stupendously high. Okay. So, and that's fine. I mean, that doesn't mean it can't succeed. But it's just, when I see that, I'm like, okay, you're going to really have to wow me here in this video. And so far, I'm not wowed. Like, nothing about what I've seen so far has wowed me. I am intrigued by this right here, though. And that was, these were the two things I want to spotlight. 240 minutes. That is a huge, that's four hours. Like, this is thus going to be a really epic, uh, or, or just, not even epic, just all day kind of game uh potentially which is its own separate niche it gets me excited so let's get into it do i want it can you do it how much is it let's go enter the artifactorum a secret society born two thousand years ago with artifacts every 10 years the council holds a grand tournament allowing a new master artifactor to join the society apprentices have to build an artifact machine combining water Fire. Okay, Earth. so I feel like I've been saying this a lot the last few weeks. I, I just don't feel like this is the style of video that I see doing, you know, just gangbusters on Kickstarter. I think you really have to grab people's attention, and I think focusing completely on the theme is just really hard to do now on Kickstarter because of how many times we've been co sold completely on the theme and then how many times we've been disappointed with the final product. So I, I it, the fact that I still have no idea like what the mechanisms are, what kind of game this is, you know, what the components look like, you know, is this Kawhi? Like, I don't know anything about this game aside from some theme that you're spewing at me. Air and lightning with skeletons of metal and fight in the arena. Okay, Only there we go. Only one of them will make their way to join the Artifactorum. Let artifacts and its huge amount of components blow your mind. <laughs> what? I've never heard anyone just go out and say it. Check out how many freaking components we got. That's, um, let me know what you think about that comment right there. I am very intrigued because I feel like you should spotlight that. So I love that. But then at the same time, maybe, maybe just a bit more subtly i don't know uh but this does look this looks appealing setup we made it accessible for all oh wow artifacts is a modular and now they did a weird thing there where they just slowly added more and more and more and more and more and it's it was just interestingly done x is a modular hmm. and i wish it was a little experience. bit experience learn the game and the rules easily as a tutorial add segments and Wait, what does that mean, as a tutorial? Uh, so that was an interesting shot. I don't think I've really seen too many people do stuff with the rule booklet. I will say, it looks like it has pictures and illustrations and examples, which is good. And the, I do like the fact that they're spotlighting the rules a little bit up front, especially for a game that could potentially be four hours long. You do not want to have bad rules for a game like that. But I, once again, I just don't know if the shot lands. 
Because I, I don't know, I still just don't have a feel for the components, really, I guess. Really, as it because we were so zoomed out. Tutorial. Add segments and modules along the way, adding a bit of spice each new game. Mm. Only play your favorite parts of the game, or go all in with the full Artifacts experience. What? In Artifacts, build the most efficient artifact. So, let me know what you think. That last part right there. Add on as many modules as you want or take away as many modules as you want. That scares me just a little bit. And I, I don't know if I can exactly phrase why. It gives me the impression none of them are going to be amazing. Like that's, I don't know. And, and that, I, I hope that's wrong. But it's just, let me know what you think. Back and earn prestige points by damaging your opponents in the arena. Resource management lovers will enjoy the building phase. Hmm? Design your own machine. Artillery, energy, armor, gems of alchemical current, architectonic installations. The scope is okay. So the jig is in. The theme is not okay. Can we? Can we? Like immediately after watching this, I'm like, okay. It is, I don't feel like this is probably going to be the most thematic game. It's huge to build and optimize your own and unique artifact. And I don't know if that's not the case because if that is in fact not the case, I just feel like that very mechanical. 20 seconds there of just digging completely into the weeds and naming what the cards are and naming what the parts are in thematic unison i don't know I, I don't know then comes the interaction with the confrontation phase face other competitors artifacts boy look at those squares and overcome all obstacles from the arena made for two to four players artifacts combines euro game and strong interaction I was pretty excited when I saw right at the front it said one players, and now I'm like, wait a second, what the hell is going on? In two independent phases, also introducing a solo mode to improve your skill. What does that mean, introducing a solo? I, I don't know. I don't know. With artifacts, enter the artifact tour. So I think what they're saying is, come into the solo with low expectations. That's kind of what it sounds like to me, the way they phrase that. From with one ambition, master the mechanisms of the universe to become the best master artifactor. Okay, so how is this game going to take four hours? Like, now at this point, after having heard the explanation of the game, be like, this sounds kind of interesting. I say to myself, dear God, would I want to be a part of a four-hour game of, of what I just saw in that two minutes? And I don't think I would want to. You know, it didn't... It felt very mechanical. Uh, so, do I want it after the video? No, I don't. I don't really think. Let me know because I, I don't feel like that video really did a great job convincing me or getting me excited. So, I think it's really going to base a lot on how much is it and can you do it. So, let's get there. First, created zero backed. This looks bad. This always looks bad, but it's not the end of the world because you just go to see more and hopefully we have a great see more section. Artifacts is the first game of Frank Bovet and the Fabulous Factory. Seven years ago, after looking for his perfect game in the stores and not finding it, Frank had a crazy idea, designing his dream game. Through the years, Artifacts was born, has been playtested, prototyped, and more. Now it's time to present it to you to bring it to life. Now it's an entire team who works alongside Frank on the Artifacts Project. Writers, artists, communication productions, and logistics specialists were ready to meet you. So this is an interesting one. This sounds like, hey, Frank had this idea for a game and now Frank has... Uh, money potentially, because, you know, if you look at it from this perspective, you were going to design a game, would you, like your first Kickstarter, you'd be like, yeah, I have five people I'm working with. You, I don't know. I don't think most people do, um, which is good for him. I mean, it's just, it, it, I don't know. Nothing here convinced me of the, can you do it yet? So hopefully you can crush that somewhere in this. And I do see one collaborator that's always solid. So hopefully the updates in the comments should be solid. In Artifacts, your goal is to claim your master tile. So can you do it? I have my eyes open because nothing has been uh, really convincing me yet. Artifact, your goal is to claim your master title and prove other artifactors you were the best during the grand tournament. Earn the most prestige points by building the most efficient artifact and damage your opponents. So you're building, so it's like battle bots, pretty much. You're building a battle robot and they're fighting. Okay. Build the best artifact and damage your opponents with a mix of Euro game style and a Meritash confrontation. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that there's two phases here. First phase, build your robot, Euro-E. Second phase, take your robot, and then fight with it. At least that's what the, the vibe I'm getting here. That sounds cool. Doesn't sound four hours cool. 
But I need to know more about the me the mechanisms. Hopefully, we get that covered a little bit better. Because they, they took, like, a long time focusing on just that one thing, where it's like, first you put in the neuron thing with the stuff and the thing, and then you got the circle with the thing on the outside, and it's like, okay, is this the only thing going on in this game? Um, an Ameritrash and Euro game played in two phases. So I did, I, I called that, <laughs> but... Artifacts combines worker placement and strong interaction in two independent phases or play it all together. Wait, what? Artifacts combines worker placement and strong interaction in two independent phases or play it all together. Okay, I don't quite understand that. Build your artifact. Resource managers and lovers will enjoy the building phase. Design your own machine, artillery, energy, armor, gems of alchemist, current, art. So you're going to be customizing your, your generic... So, right, the little thing on your card. The scope is huge to build and optimize your artifact. Two, fight over competitors' artifacts in the arenas. Let's enter the confrontation phase. Face other competitors' artifacts, and you really got to zoom in on some of this. Like this is this is a really bad shot. Like this is an okay shot at a different point where it's like, whoa, look at all the components, like you said. But right here, I I'm trying to understand the game, and this is not helping me understanding the game. Literally not being able to read any words or see any discernible detail here at all uh and then we're done and i was like that's how you play <laughs> i'm i'm sure not convinced <laughs> okay so can you do it is still a no like i'm intrigued at a four hour game um but that's really i don't know how much long that's gonna hold water what's in the box parvum opus main boards once again why can't you slap me with the price here i feel like this is the shopping set the shopping section so we got one arena board Four dashboards and workshops. Could we zoom into these so I could at least see what's going? Like what? This looks like a cool thing. This looks like there's going to be cubes and like what's this? I don't know what that is. That looks fun. Maybe can we spot? Zoom in. Uh, Emporium, the normal and advanced face. Oh, cool. So we got some variability. Awesome. Zoom in. Prestige points table. I think that is the victory point table. Once again, zoom in. And this this kind of shows me that maybe you didn't look at as many other Kickstarter projects because there's the industry standard is this long, sexy scrolling shot where all the different components get their own little zoomed in spot so you can see everything and you can get excited about it sometimes before you get to the price, which I'm assuming your price is going to be down here, right? Uh, four screens, two combat ladders. What is this? This looks awesome. This actually looks really neat. I think I can't tell because it's so small, but that looks cool. I think, uh, <laughs> like I'd love to see it bigger. One artifactor's hierarchy cool i don't know what that means or what it is but i think it's a token maybe could be a ping pong ball who the hell knows four ballistic screens audacity seven modules okay so this is where we're getting really interesting here seven modules improver architectonic installation ballistic installation builder merger fortifier connector installation okay cool that means absolutely nothing to me in any way shape or form Aside from I know I could put all of them together and then somehow this drags the game out to four hours. Or if I don't put them all together, it's not nearly or all of them together. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like you've explained it enough. 408 machine parts. And this is where we got billions and billions of tokens. And when I say billions, I mean 408. <laughs> 32 cannons, 32 armors. So this is just things you're going to be upgrading your little card with, which is going to represent your robot that's fighting. Uh, 88 diagrams. Okay. Other components. We got stuff, tokens, cool, lots of stuff. What's in the box? Oh, so this is the Magnum Opus. This is seven more modules. He sprung this on me. Because this is quite obviously what you want everyone to get, right? Like, this is it. You want the base game, and you want the expansion. And so the fact that I didn't even know this existed, you know, 14 minutes into this, I don't think you're doing enough service to this, because I'm sure there's some people. I was not inspired by the video at all but if you were inspired by the video at all i'm sure that this would excite you even more to know wow we go up to 14 modules now because i will say can i play it with all 14 modules can this be an eight hour 14 module game because at that point i'm a weirdo and i absolutely think that sounds awesome like i'm immediately more intrigued in this game i think you need to lean a little bit more into that if that is in fact the case uh and, and you try to by saying it's a gigantic game but I don't know if that really comes across. And once again, I don't know the size of these boxes either. This is always bad. Uh, like, I, I don't know what size this box is. You should, you should have a very clear representation to the customer of what they're buying, how large they're going to be buying. Because once you get to the shipping, if it's two big freaking boxes, I'm like, okay, 25 bucks, whatever. I don't think twice about it because they're huge boxes. Whereas right now, I'm like, I don't know. Is this, is this like a pandemic box on its side? 
You know, what size box is this? It's such an easy thing to do, and it drives me nuts when Kickstarter companies don't do it. Merchant, one market grid with a price index. Ooh, coins. Engineer, consided new glides, which we zoomed. It looks like you zoomed intentionally out as far as you could on this. Like, 20 unique technologies. Zoom in. What does that mean? What? What? 16 drones. That sounds cool, I think. What are they? Are those little tokens? Can't even see the artwork. Eight beacons, water rectangles, necro. So this is a humongous game. Like, this is a humongous potential game that you can get into. 64 Necromantic, 16 August, 15 Conjunctions, other components, cool. So that's great. You told me about all 14 of these. You know what? I know about, like, one. Like, you did not. Oh, okay. So, I still don't know the price either. You showed me everything, but don't show me the price. Why? I know it's over here, but it should be over here. It's a seamless story. It should be. Ugh. All right. Help bring us to life a very unique project, which doesn't belong to the retail world. Okay, benefit from the best deal you can get and getting all the stretch goals we could have thought of. Let's go back to Kickstarter basics. Help a designer's dreams you also believe in to come alive. Okay, so they're, they're plucking a little bit at the heartstrings there. I will say, I have not gotten a personal touch out of this at all, aside from the see more section. But, I actually did polling on this, most people don't look there. Most people don't know about your story and how this is a seven-year journey and yada, yada, yada. That's a great thing to mention in the video. That would immediately make me more engaged with the video. And I think it'd make the video better. I think a personal touch is always a good deal. Uh, and plus, if there's any screw-ups in the back end, it just gives you more, it makes you more human, and I think people are a little bit nicer. A unique chance to get artifacts. We have no plan for artifacts in retail slash classic distribution search for now. Yeah, we already talked about that. Uh, it doesn't belong to the retail world. So here we go. Now we got pledges. So $99. No, I didn't. I wasn't convinced. Ninety nine dollars with uh, with what you showed me. Let's go back. Board. I don't know how large this board is. Is it small? Is it big? Pfft. Rule book. How many pages? I don't know. Can I click on it? Can I look at it? I don't know. Dashboards and workshops. What are these? How? Why do I want them? Like now, these questions I had before of like, what's this? What's going on? And now, like, wait, this is a hundred dollars. Okay, we got to talk seriously. And I don't know what the hell's going on. So they really, I think, need to crush it underneath this section and i hope they do i hope there's a how to play i hope there's a gameplay but let's keep going so 99 99 euros so it's 116 dollars no thank you but now i will say i think i kind of get a better idea of the size of the box is this like a scythe size box maybe or a um actually it looks like maybe the size box that queen's games uses if you know that size no, it's such oddly specific to board gamers. <laughs> All right. Uh, core box, unlocked, stretch goals, solo mode when the project is funded. So if the project doesn't get funded, we ain't got a solo mode for you. But if it does, you get one. Like, what the hell? That just sounds so odd. Like, I feel like this would look better if you just didn't have that and we just assumed that the solo mode was there because you advertise the solo mode on the front image and in fact that was one of the only two things that really intrigued me about this game from that generic front image was the one player solo mode and the 240 minute time length uh everything else looks just super generic and brown and blah and it's not even zoomed in like at least right now i can see the artwork but on the main image it's zoomed out and it's just hard to see all right so this is the all-in early bird 24 hours i'm pretty sure this is up has this been up longer than 24 hours I thought it had. They have four updates. I'm assuming this up. So if this is no longer here, could we get rid of it? Uh, yeah, this launched on August 17th. Bye-bye. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that just seems like a no-brainer. Why are you still rubbing it in my face that I wasn't here the first day? Just go into your thing and get rid of it. Two, you can do it. Uh, all in. $159. Okay. So at that point, 187 Wow. With shipping, you're probably going to be over $200 for this game. Which, once again, I am not convinced in any way, shape, or form yet about this game. Not on the do I want it, and not on the can you do it. And I'm sure as hell not convinced on the how much is it. So this is, this is a really, this is looking really rough. Like, nothing I've seen you do so far has been like, nice, great. Like, it's just, and I, it's, so I'm hoping down below we're going to start crushing it. Add-ons, metal coins. Uh, ooh, so these are the these are the coins that are in the uh, the Magnus op Opus, right? I think you should. Oh yeah, to artifacts includes eighty metal coins to add to artifacts. Wait, so doesn't it come with metal coins? 
I thought it did. I thought she specifically said it had metal coins. Yeah, that's metal coins, right? So is this more metal coins? I think that should be a little bit clear. Includes 80 metal coins to add to artifacts. So maybe it's just more, I think. Uh, why, why do I need that? Do I need that? Am I going to run out of coins? I don't know. That's a weird one to have. Maybe let off with love our coins so much. Just love, just falling in love with our coins and what more. Something like that. To, just to clear out any confusion, maybe. How to play artifacts. Okay, we're back to this. Good, I need to know. Artifacts is modular and accessible. Make your own game. Let artifacts and its components blow your mind. <sighs> You did it again. It's like subtle. Be subtle. <laughs> Accessible for all. As Artifacts is a modular and progressive experience, learn the game and the rules easily as a tutorial. I, and that's to say, it sounded weird when you mentioned it in the video, when you talked about the rules, and it still sounds weird. What does that mean? Is there a tutorial video? Is there an app where you're just saying the rules are the tutorial, which is yes, we know that's how rules work. It's just confusing to me. Add segments and modules along the way, adding a bit of spice each new game. Only play your favorite parts of the game. Choose to go all in with the full artifacts experience and all segments. Train and compete compete against a clever autonomous with a solo mode. So, literally everything here, I'm pretty sure none of this is new to me. This is all just saying the same thing you've said quite a few times. Except for maybe this one where you, add, uh, you use the word autonomous with a solo mode. So that's good. So discover the rules here. Awesome. So we do have that. Excellent, excellent. Uh, they give you an overview of artifacts. The segments and modules created for artifacts make the breadth and depth of gameplay incredible. I've never seen a game that would scale from 45 minutes to 6 hours based on what the players choose to include. I've never seen... The segments and modules... I, I, I'm actually trying to pinpoint if there is a complement in here. The segments and modules created for artifacts make the breadth and depth of gameplay incredible. So there's tons of different gameplay in this. Okay. I have never seen a game that could scale from 45 minutes to 6 hours based on what the players choose to include. So, once again, I don't actually see a compliment there at all. That is kind of just telling me what I already knew, which is that this game is the thing that I can keep adding modules and make the game longer. Alright, finally a Euro game with deep resource management that also gives me the opportunity to confront or even eliminate my opponents. The building option left me speechless. Yeah, because when I hear 4 hour game, boy howdy do I love player elimination. You know, and I know Twilight Imperium is player elimination. A lot of the, uh, some of the longer scale games, uh, big games of werewolf, multiple hour games. They have player elimination. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. These quotes aren't selling me. Um, like, I guess he is messaging in the resource management. And I think part of the problem is, I think that's what I've heard most is just resource management, resource management. And what are these other modules? What are the other six? I think that's what's really throwing me off a little bit. Uh, so we have some uh, earn press speed points by building the most efficient artifact, damaging your opponents or collecting bonus in the arena. More modes in the all in. Hmm. Just kind of feels thrown in here. Doesn't really have much of a rhyme or reason, does it? All right. Okay. So we were. We I thought we were going to do some videos. Then we're like, no, nope, we're back on the uh, we're back on the how to play. So we started. Hey, this is the how to play. And then you're like, oh, we're actually just going to tell you stuff we already know. And then, but here's the how to play. It's rules. But then we do quotes. But then we're like, hey, hell no, we're back to the how to play. It's just odd. Enter the tournament and define the calendarium. Okay, so now we're actually talking about what the other modules are. Spectacular. The tournament is a succession of turns and phases defined by the calendarium. They can be of different types. Preparation phases, confrontation phases, and rest phases. So this actually looks cool. It looks like a little rondelle right there. And if that is, in fact, what that is, I would be spotlighting that words. And I would also be zooming in onto this because this gives me Zolt feels i see this and i say "Ooh, that kind of looks like the inner workings of zulkin and that gets me excited uh that's more excited than i've been about just about anything else so far preparation phase use the modules uh you select to build your artifacts using some of the 14 modules put into the game to equip and build your artifact be strategic and use all of them to get an adjustable artifact or choose the path of specialization i think this is where they're just talking about oh here's this little square you got you're gonna put a whole bunch of things on it but once again we're back to completely zooming out and me just losing all interest in what's even going on here because i know even if i squinted i don't know and i don't feel like that's good uh some modules you can use before using any module two dice are thrown giving you the value of a and b combine these two values in various different ways and make the best of them using one of the available so um here we go so we are actually going into the different modules right here it doesn't really tell me much to build useful structures oh so this one's actually put structures in the arena wow that actually sounds really cool like that sounds really neat why are you making me dig for it why is this hotlighted 
you know, with the Terraformer one, you'll be, like, that's what I think what, what this video should have been. It should have been going into depth each one of the modules, or just a glance overview. You can use the Terraformer mod, which will allow you to modify the second phase of the game when you'll have your battle bots fighting to the death. You know, uh, the engineer to benefit the technologies and just pimp out your uh, whatever to make it the best as you possibly can. Put in an icy machine in it. You know, like that sort of thing. Confrontation phase, I think getting people more excited about what the actual game is. And this right here, this little blurb, gets me more excited than anything else I've seen right there. Confrontation phases. Jump into the arena. It's now time to... Yeah, we know that. Play on Tabletop Simulator. That's awesome. I might spotlight that a little bit earlier as well, especially considering how unsold I am on the game. Um, having that little thing now available on Tabletop Simulator, like, I think it would instantly make your main image look better because, once again, it's very spruce up there. There's not much going on. All right, so join the Artifactor Secret Society 2000 Year to Fode, something, something. It's time for the Grand Tournament. The Grand Tournament takes place over an entire astral year. So is this actually something to get me excited about this Kickstarter page, or is this just you randomly telling me about the theme of the game again? I think it's about the theme of the game. So we're just like, hey, what would what, what be good right here? You know what? How about we talk about the theme one more time? Nice. Solid. All right. Then we do have Designer Diary at BGG. That gets me excited. And that's a potential way to make more of a personal touch on this game. So hopefully you're going to interweave some of that into your updates along with asking a question if you're not asking questions. So we, what do we have? We have a review in French. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't think that's the best way to start. And the reason why I always say that is half the people who shop on Kickstarter from the United States of America. And generally it's even higher than that. But hopefully... Holy hell, no, it's not. It's 95 here from France, but that tells me that you're not really appealing to people from the United States of America, which makes me wonder if the shipping is going to be really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so take that one back. Top France one, perfectly fine when you have mostly people from France. Okay, what's up, France? How to play by the designer. Oh, wow. Oh, but it's in French. Okay, so preview by somebody in English. Don't care where's the gameplay. Whoa, okay, how to play. Wow, hour long, and I say to myself, hour long, that's going to be a hard sell, especially if this is a 45 minute game, you know, if we're not planning on playing the four hour game, so hopefully there's, uh, in the future there's a more concise one, but I will say this is actually an hour and five minutes of completely learning how to play the game, this, this I think should be spotlighted, this should be the number one, especially, yeah, if it's, it's looking on the components, and I'm seeing the prototype, the prototype looks cool, like this looks fun, um, so that's great to see there. I, that gives me a lot more faith in the game. Because honestly, that's pretty much what I'd bank it on. Watch that video. And hopefully, you got to convince me a little more of can you do it. Who's, who, uh, who, what is the size of the box? Who are you manufacturing through? Those sort of things. So stretch goals. Uh, technology, excavator, artifact. Only in the all-in pledge. So when do we get this? Uh, maybe put the, the, the amount when we hit it that'd be nice because you did it here but you didn't do it on the other one so oh this is for this so this is already what is oh this is already unlocked that's why it's green okay that's not as clear as i think you think it is uh it kind of looks like oh this is the first one i don't know let me know what you think so 80k funding reward the solo mode once again as a solo gamer i don't feel very <laughs> welcome here it's like hey we'll slap this on for you if you, you hit the 80k okay cool uh, fight the Autonomy, like, that is such an odd decision there. 85k. He, like, if you just would not have mentioned anything out of the ordinary about your solo mode, just, it's an autonomous mode, and you can still play with all 14 of those modules if you want to. You pitch it like that, you can set this thing up, you can play this thing over a couple days, just get the full breadth and depth of this experience. That sounds much more appealing than you saying, hey, we hit 80k and you get it solo. It's just, it's an odd one. It's a very odd one. Heat transfer artifacts, cool pictures of what that is what does that mean i'm assuming that means components look nicer but you're not showing me anything double layer dashboards now this one actually sounds legitimately exciting because double layer generally means that like you could put stuff into it and they won't move around but this is i need a picture i'm not a fan to have the first stretch goal be an only all-in pledge stretch goal oh yeah that's a solid point as well because the all-in is 200 well 186 yeah yeah that's an odd one that's an odd one Okay, so shipping and timeline. So we did get to the the shipping here towards the bottom. So Europe, it's going to be 15 into euros, 20 euros. Convert this into other people's currency, especially... Oh, did you convert it? Oh, they did! Yay! They did! I take it back. Awesome. Uh, they converted it here. Picture would help indeed for the stretch goal here. Yes. I mean, pictures. Pictures are so good. Uh, so 23.69 to ship this box. And now we get back to the point I made earlier, which is I don't know the size of your box. And I'm saying, damn! 
Damn! So you're expecting me to pay $140 for this game. $140 to get this to ship to the United States. Now, now look at that. You're getting a huge break once you get the second box. But once again, I still don't even know what the second box is. So let's pretend I go all in. You're trying to get $210 out of this? That's, that's just such a big ask. So 10 backers here, 11 backers here. And then we have, this is the early bird, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is the all-in early bird. And so 42 backers here. This is the first all-in, so 162. So yeah, so pretty much they had this initial big boom of excitement, but then they were not able to maintain this. And I see why. I could completely see why. Like, going back through it, there's always the three things you need to convince Kickstarter backers. Do they want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? And honestly, I don't think you did any one of those threes eventually with the do i want it i'm intrigued about this game now i will say that we finally got to that point but how long did it take me to get to that point also what's up with the vat always a good thing to mention don't know okay but let's check out the pledge levels so how many people want just the base game 11 11 that's not a good number that's so that oh and that's so telling too because the the early birds were just day one so that pretty much tells me that you know 21 people it looks like around that have back since this launch, which just means it's it's sinking. And that's, you know, once again, 74th in popularity. You know, I hammer on popularity all the time. And I've had people say, why? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Do you ever scroll down to the 74th game and buy it? Like, does that happen routinely? I don't think so. You know, you got to be up higher. And you got a niche here. I feel like there's a path here. You have an interesting concept, an idea. You know, this can go up to 14 modules with both the expansions. And I think that's something I would have led with as well. Just the epicness of this game. Because if you can have 14 modules, that's pretty damn epic. I mean, that's, that that intrigues me heavily. Uh, all right. So we got the campaign ending September 7th. Final game files. Production starts. When's it coming out? Uh, delivery starts in November 2022. So this will be an Essen game next year. Wait, delivery starts March 2023. Wait, so why does it say estimated delivery uh, 2022? November 2022. Uh, so, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. Final game files. So, these don't line up. Generally, you know, you want these two to be, you know, the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fabulous Factories and the History of Artifacts. Artifacts is the first game of Frank Bovet and the Fabulous Factory. Seven years ago, after looking for his perfect game in the stores. Oh, so now we're actually getting to the personal touch, which I still think, I don't know, I, I think should have been in the video, honestly. If this is, th I think that's the best way to pitch this, is this is a labor of love. There was just so much game here. I didn't want to sacrifice any little bit of this game. And I actually ended up doing, sacrificing it just a little bit, because I had a lot of people say it's just insane to put all 14 into there. So I did only end up putting up seven of the modules into the base game. But if you want to you want to experience my full dream, and actually what I want this game to really be, uh, the all-in is the way to go. And you, can, you and your friends can play with 14 different modules. You can play this game every single time, and it's never going to be the same experience. And it's just such a fun adventure to work through all the different modules and see how they seamlessly kind of go together some don't work so well together it causes you to kind of change how your gameplay and your style is and just every game's a different experience like that's how i pitch this i think that's much more captivating than anything i've seen so far here uh so here we go the team we got a big team a huge thanks to all our friends who give up our time to play test artifacts game wow so that's a huge team join the artifacts community follow us so, so we got a lot of different things okay dokey so this is going to be a hard grade to give. Oh, no. Oh, why did I start giving grades? Oh, but this is nice. I will. Okay. FAQ. Like it. It's broken up into little sections. Uh, I, this is what I want to see be industry standard. I think it's great. I do think it's going to be put in alphabetic order, but that is a nitpick. Uh, oh, it's in reverse alphabetic order. Okay, cool. Uh, excellent. So, updates. Six, zero, five, and one. And I'm looking at the amount of comments and in particular this first update i can tell is not a good update and the reason why is the first day was you know when everyone was really excited about this remember first day early birds what do we got 100 plus people there like that's a big deal that's you know that's that's enough to potentially launch this thing into the stratosphere you had the early buzz but then i look at this update and, and i see why it's dropped to 77th because you only have one comment of the the 100 people that maybe uh, bought this the first day and are super excited about this like yeah i'm gonna invest 130 or 200 dollars or whatever it is uh i don't feel like you captivated their excitement here you didn't grab it and i, and I always think you should end with a question 
because let's see. I'm going to guess... Do we have any comments? Do you have any plans concerning playthrough videos or how to play? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. Oh my gosh, we didn't even see a playthrough video. We didn't see how to play. We see the hour hour long how to play, uh, which hopefully has been there from the start, because if not, that, I mean, that's, those are the two most things. But yeah, we did not say a playthrough video, which once again really, really scares me, especially if it's on Tabletop Simulator. Like, in theory, you could record one on Tabletop Simulator, just capture your screen and talk over it pretty easily. So when, when I don't even see that, that's very concerning. So I'm glad that the person in the chat brought that up. Uh, but yeah, these these kind of numbers, five comments, zero comments, six comments, those are not going to get it done uh, if you're going to be higher on the popularity chart. You know, you're going to be 74th and, and continuing to fall because there's just not, there's not excitement here, which is unfortunate because there's, there's a really interesting game here. But $93,000, holy guacamole. So that that's the first thing. That is a huge amount of money to ask when all the while... I have been putting off really talking about can you do it, and nothing here has screamed can you do it. In fact, it's actually the contrary. I see a lot of things here that just make me say, man, I didn't feel like there was that much research into what industry standard Kickstarter looks like, you know, and it's just $93,000. That is a lot. I don't feel convinced about the components in the game. I don't feel convinced about the size of the box, which I don't even know. I don't feel convinced about the gameplay because you didn't really tell me much about it except for the resource management. And I, while I know I can click on the how to play, and that's honestly what I'd recommend doing if you're really interested in this. But it, at the end of the day, what's my final grade? Let's check out the comments. Uh, Artifacts team. This is regarding update four. Oh, wait, what do we got? For me, all is said, you need critical reviews from well-known reviewers in gameplay videos, Effie like Rondo. Otherwise, people have no idea how the game flows and how a player turn works, and this information is critical. Sabrina, up in here. I agree. Preach. Uh, Artifacts team. This is regarding update four. While selfishly, I'm sad that this means it will be that much longer before I get artifacts in my hands, I think this is a very good move on your part. I'm going to guess that they're going to relaunch... Is that, is that, let's make a great reboot together. So why is this still up? That's a really interesting, like, we would like to thank you for support. Thanks for the feedback. We would like to rethink the presentation of the game and the boxes and the page maybe and propose a new Kickstarter campaign. So I'll be sure to send them this. So now they have some ideas, but hopefully they ask some questions in here. Do they say, what would you recommend? Uh, any feedback, positive or negative, is welcome. So that's a good thing, but at the same time, I'd say, what do you think we need to do? Good call. This shows good judgment. It makes me think that the confidence... Yeah, okay. So this is a this is a really interesting one. And this is why I love going Kickstarter critiques. You never know which direction these are going to go. So this is a project that is actively in the reboot phase. And so here's my question. Why keep it up still? Like... When are they going to pull this down? And when would you pull it down? All right, so 230. Because I think part of the issue here is you're not appealing enough to the United States of America. And, and I know that sounds that sounds stupid, but it's just, it's, it's the truth. More than half the people that shop on Kickstarter, especially in board games, are from the United States of America. And that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I think you just need to pitch this as an absolute... Uh, lifelong passion heirloom kind of game the kind of game that is going to be on your shelf forever and it's going to be a unique experience every single time and I think that's your best path to victory here because otherwise $93,000 is just such a hard sell so at the end of the day what's my final grade on artifacts do I want it <clears throat> yes I do you really I, I really had to go far to figure out that I did want it though so I'm not patting you on the back too hard there can you do it I don't feel comfortable with that quite frankly, at all, just because of a lot of the things I see here. I do think you saying that you're going to reboot and come back does make me feel much more comfortable, though. I, I will honestly say that. Like, if this one just rode out and it hit, like, $94,000, I'd be like, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, and then how much is it? Prices, I, I just got to be bad. I mean, it's a bad price, I think, to most people, especially with how unconvinced I am of the components. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give this a D, D. Yeah, artifacts, I'm going to give it a D. It would be a D minus, but being inflective enough to realize that, you know, this ship is not going the way you want the ship to go and saying we are going to reboot and then bringing your people into the reboot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go D plus. I'm going to go D plus for that because I love that because they already can showed that they had that first day. They could get that first day push. It's just they need to sustain that momentum and coming back with new ideas, some fresh takes, uh, a more rabid fan base who really is more invested in the project because if you're back at the second time around, I mean, you really want to see it happen, don't you? So I like what they're doing there, but a D-plus for artifacts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Boop.